Hello, Mark Crossfield here with another video response. Okay, Joey Clown would like to see a comparison between the JAPX 800 Pro from Mizuno with the burner 2.0, also what it's like on uh, different strikes. So here we go, let's take a look at the two irons. So we've got an interesting comparison today. We've got the JPX 800 Pro and then we've got the TaylorMade Burner 2.0. So it's two quite different irons. So you've got the, the grain flow forged in the 800 and then you're going into the Burner 2.0 um, with its inverted cone technology, super powerful. Um, bottom line to these two clubs are the soles. Burner definitely thicker than the JPX Pro, as you'd come to expect. Top lines on these two clubs quite similar. If anything, the uh, JPX Pro slightly thinner, but not by much. They look quite similar. Very different in their appearance. Though you got the chrome finish in the JPX 800 Pro, and then you got the burner 2.0 with its kind of stained black gunmetally finish. So let's give these two clubs a hit. Give you a comparison. First thing we're going to notice, we're going to look at the ball speed. Got Trap Man on here. Just listen to the ball speed. Uh, of the TaylorMade 2.0. So we're going to start the 2.0. Chapman's going to tell us how uh, the ball speed after that fits. So just listen out for the ball speed. It's a pretty decent hit, relatively middly. Ball speed 106.6 miles per hour. 106 miles an hour. Let's give it another go. TaylorMade 2.0. Yeah, it was more out the middle. Ball speed 105.6 miles per hour. Okay, 106, 105. Let's give it one more hit. Ball speed 105.6 miles per hour. Yeah, a nice hit. I mean, this club just fires. It really springs off the base. Ball speed 106.2 miles per hour. Okay, 106 with the uh, TaylorMade 2.0. So now let's give it a go with the JPX 800 Pro. Just listen to the ball speed on this one in the comparison. Hit pretty middly. Ball speed 104.3 miles. 100, per hour. 104, that's not bad for this one. Let's give it another wallet. Okay, again, that's pretty middly as well. Ball speed 103.1 miles per okay, hour. Okay, 104, 103. Let's give one more go with the 800 Pro. Again, that's pretty middly. Ball speed 101.1 miles. 101. So definitely with the um, the, the burner 2.0 that comes off the face that much faster, basically. I mean, it does fire when you hit it. It really feels like it's zipping off the face. It's going. Ball speed 116.7 miles. I mean, that's where this club comes into it's 116 on that one. I mean, it's just crazy. You give it a fraction more and it just flies. So, TaylorMade 2.0 definitely springier, as you would expect. Comes off the face so much faster. Obviously, the grain flow forged in the 800 Pro is always going to give it a softer, duller feel, which I actually quite like. Uh, TaylorMade 2.0 burner feels great, but it fires, which is good for lots of people. Right. What we're going to do next, and I've got some uh, face tape here. We're just going to hit these two irons uh, and see if we can mishit them a little bit and see what kind of uh, results that gives to the ball speed. Arguably, you'd be thinking the uh, 2.0 is going to perform better when you start mishitting it. So we've got the, both of them there with a the face tape. I'm going to try and hit both of these at pretty close to the toe, as close as I can get to the toe, but still on the face, hopefully. So let's start with the... Uh, Burner 2.0. See if I can get one out of the toe. And let's, let's look what happens to the ball speed. Okay, this is nice. It's definitely coming off the toe. Yep. Ball speed 100.6 miles per hour. So I don't know if the camera's picking that up. Hopefully it is. Basically, that strike is there. Just got that one out of the toe. I don't know if you're getting that on the tape. But a nice hit. It felt pretty solid considering how far out the toe I hit that one. Generating 100 mile an hour ball speed, which is not bad of our balls considering I've got that out the toe. Okay, let's give it the JPX 800 Pro off the toe so we can get it the same spot. Okay, that's flowing pretty well considering I toed that. It's a bit close to the middle actually, that one. 
Ball speed 101.0 miles per hour. So 101, I don't know if you're picking it up on the camera, basically that hit is there. So it was closer to the middle than the tailor made. So I'm just going to give the 800 one more hit. See if we can get it a bit more out of tow. So it's a similar comparison to the burner. Get that way off the tow. Yeah, so that one's almost the other end of Ball the spectrum. Ball speed 93.2 miles per hour. So it really dropped 93 miles an hour, but I did hit that very toey. That was about there. So, to be honest with you, both these irons, if you miss hitting, are performing very similar. And when it comes to heel and toe weighting, there isn't that much difference in the two. I give me a little bit more in the toe in the burner, but obviously you've got a lot towards the toe with the, the JPX800 Pro because of a, last year they did their wide tune, which was always pushing the miss hits out towards the toe for Mizuno. So I think they're still carrying that on even in the uh, JPX800 Pro, even though it's not called wide tune. They've definitely got more muscle out towards the toe. So miss hits performing quite similar. At the middle though, uh, Taylor McBurner just rockets. Goes like a rocket, where you'd get your grain flow forged, obviously with the 800 Pro, it's uh, much calmer. Looking down on these two clubs, there's not much in it. A J APX, the JPX800 looks a little, uh, nicer the 800 Pro but uh, not really that much in it to be honest with you. It's what you want out of your clubs. Distance all day long you're going to get from Burner 2.0. I'd be a little bit more control, a bit more feel out the JPX 800 Pro. Hope that helps. Keep watching guys. Uh, if you want to subscribe do. Don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel so you get the videos first and if you've got any comments do post them. I'll always try and answer.